Hi, I'm John Aiello. I'm a librarian at Pearl River Public Library, and I'm here today from uh, PRPL from Home Services with episode three of Reset with Poetry. Um, in our last episode, you may remember, we read a very zany poem by Stephen Dobbins called Oatmeal Deluxe. Um, a lot of fun. And uh, in this episode, episode number three, the pendulum swings back in the direction of the sublime with a poem by uh, the poet Mary Oliver, um, very well-known and highly anthologized poet. Um, she spent a lot of her life in Provincetown in Cape Cod because she tends to write about uh, nature and um, the beauty of nature. Um, Alligator Poem is uh, a poem that's also about nature but it's about um, a lot more than that as well. So let's just jump in with the Alligator Poem by Mary Oliver. I knelt down at the edge of the water and if the white birds standing in the tops of the trees whistled any warning I didn't understand. I drank up to the very moment it came crashing towards me, its tail flailing like a bundle of swords slashing the grass, and the inside of its cradle-shaped mouth gaping and rimmed with teeth. And that's how I almost died of foolishness in beautiful Florida. But I didn't. I leaped aside and fell, and it streamed past me, crushing everything in its path as it swept down to the water and threw itself in. And in the end, this poem isn't about foolishness, but about how I rose from the ground and saw the world as if for a second time, the way it really is. The water, the circle of shattered glass, healed itself with a slow whisper and lay back with the backlit light of polished steel. And the birds, in the endless waterfalls of the trees, shook open the snowy pleats of their wings and drifted away, while for a keepsake and to steady myself, I reached out, I picked the wild flowers from the grass around me, blue stars and blood red trumpets on long green stems. For hours in my trembling hands, they glittered like fire. Alligator Poem by Mary Oliver. Um, poem that I've always really loved and a poem obviously about um, how our fear and a near brush with uh, mortality can make us see our life again and make us reborn to our life, uh, which is perhaps why we get the image of the inside of the mouth of the alligator being cradle shaped. Um, so anyway, thanks for being here on episode three of Reset with Poetry, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks, bye.